Investigators are now zeroing in on a possible cause for that fire that killed a mother and her four young children yesterday in the suburbs. WGN's Brona Tumulty has been watching this story, following it. She's live in Des Plaines with more. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, tragedy is really the only way to describe what happened here. Investigators now believe a space heater may be to blame. It may, be, uh, may have been outside of the family's unit at the top of the stairs and likely blocked their only means of escape. I got up. Well, I woke up around uh, 9.30, 9.36 or something like that. Wednesday started like any other day for Pablo Marrero with the patter of little feet upstairs. I could hear the kids running upstairs, which was normal. Our kids, they're going to run, they're going to play. But a short time later, he knew something was wrong. And I did take the, uh, an order of uh, like burnt plastic. So at that point, I got up. I started to get dressed to go find out where the, uh, where the uh, smell is coming from. And then a stranger started banging on his door. And he's, he's screaming at me to come out of the house because the house is on fire. As first responders flooded the scene, Marrero and everyone else watched and waited. Hopeful firefighters would find Sitali Zamoto and her four little girls, six-year-old Renata, five-year-old Genesis, three-year-old Allison and one-year-old Grace Espinosa. One of the uh, uh, firefighters comes out with one, one, of, the, one of the girls in his hands. Uh, she's all been blackened by all the smoke and all the stuff. Uh, she seems unconscious. But one by one... Um, a minute or two goes by, there's another one that comes out, same, uh, same condition. Little bodies were brought out. And the third one comes out in the same condition as well. And then came a stretcher. And, uh, and we're just standing there waiting, where's the mom and where's the baby? The sheet covering the young mother, making it obvious to onlookers what had happened. Uh, they didn't make it. The house itself remains boarded up. The city telling us today it was last inspected in 2018 and passed. But we're told no smoke detectors were found upstairs where the family lived. The 104-year-old multi-unit property also has a code enforcement case pending, along with a long history of similar violations for things like illegal burning, unregistered vehicles and debris. Uh, i, I got to figure out where I'm going and what I'm going to do from now on. Now, Marrero is picking up the pieces of his own life, just wishing there had been more time to help the little feet on the second floor. It was so quick. It's just, there was nothing we could do. There was nothing the police could do. There was nothing the firefighters could do. Now, a GoFundMe has been set up for the family. It has already amassed more than $12,000. We already spoke with an uncle of those little girls as well. We'll have more from him at 5.30. Live in this plane, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.